Right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to make your own starter. Um, and I have one here that I've been using for maybe the last six years. And you can see there now it's pretty young, so that means I only refreshed it a couple of hours ago. So you don't see a lot of activity in terms of bubbles and stuff, but you can see some stuff there. And that will only increase as, as time goes on. So how you get to that point would be that would be the end or the end result. So how you would get there, you could use a number of fruits, um, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to build up the amount of microorganisms inside um, a liquid, and then you start to feed that liquid with flour, and through that process you're encouraging these microorganisms to grow, and eventually to give you enough that you're going to be able to rise the bread or ferment the bread. So just here I've got some organic apple um, that I've diced up. Now you can grate it or you can dice it or slice it, whatever you want. Um, pref preferably organic because uh, the microorganisms that we're trying to encourage to grow are much like ourselves, single celled. So you want to give them the best ingredients you can to grow and reproduce. So I'm just going to pop it in there. So how many apples are? How many well, I, I've just I've just used one apple. Um, you won't need any more than that. Unless you're trying to feed an army quickly. Right, so I've just weighed it. So I've got about 115 gram of apple there. All right, and into that, I have some water here that I've I've um, weighed up and I've measured at 38 degrees and. Temperature is very important when, when you're making bread um, and even in this process because the organisms they like a warm, humid environment, so that's what you're trying to encourage. So, in here, as I said, I have some water at 38 degrees. One of these is a very important so the thermometer, um, very important piece of kit to have when you're making bread. So, in here, I'm going to put equal amounts of water to the apple that we have. So we just let this sit for, for 48 hours and what happens in those 48 hours is, as I said earlier, you'll encourage the wild yeasts and the bacteria to start to ferment the, the apple. And what you will see then probably after 48 hours, although not, not always, is you know, you'll see tiny bubbles start to come to the surface. And that just shows you the metabolic activity of the, of the yeasts um, as they feed off the apple. So that's how to make how to make your own starter. Um, the next video that we will um, make will be how you take it from this point, which would be 48 hours later, to um, use this or incorporate it into a dough that you can ferment and prove and eventually bake. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you soon.